Sid Meier's Civilization V um, Brave New World Let's Play Interactive as France and oddly enough <coughs> I received a zero amount of feedback not terribly surprising but <clears throat> one thing I am gonna do you'll notice that I've labeled this let's play 2a or at least that's my plan let's, let's face it I gotta play this before I can upload it so I'm gonna label this 2a so that if at some point I do get some feedback I can theoretically go back and replay this section and upload it as 2b weird right uh, <clears throat> And obviously that means I can branch off and do 3A, 3B, 3C, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to try to li just eliminate it to A and B if I can get some feedback. Which, who knows. So anyway, let's get into the to the game here. And let's uh, see what we got going on. Uh, my archers are getting bombarded could be because these archers are a little bit higher altitude, but I think my archers are ultimately better. And they probably are. Once again, this time, I think, um, barring any unforeseen incidents, I'm planning on keeping this around... Uh, is that going to kill them? Because I'd hate that for them to... for me to kill... for them to kill me the next go around. No, that got him. Okay, cool. Very happy. Gonna try to keep this uh, around 50 turns, um, barring any unforeseen, um, you know, whatever. And one thing we need to be very aware of is Pocatello, who's down here. So, I'm gonna rest since he's in my zone. Ten turns away from having the Stonehenge complete, and then we're going to go blah, 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 blah. Basically, uh, I do a lot of wonders. That's the way I play generally. And you can afford to do that on the lower setting. If we do need to at some point, we will. Um, no doubt might have to buy or somehow sneak out a settler so we can um, not lose some stuff. One thing I will say that uh, I think right after I did part one of this series, I, uh, you know, I saved this series and I went in and I played a game as Venice using the same model. And, you know, as Venice, when you play as Venice, if you haven't played as Venice or you haven't seen anybody play as Venice, one thing you do get that's very unique from any of the other sevs is you don't have to worry about settlers. You don't have to worry about making settlers because um, the mechanic that Venice has is they're able to um, create these merchants of Venice. And what merchants of Venice do is they'll just, you know, you can walk up to a city state with a merchant of Venice and be like, hello, I want to buy you. And so you essentially buy a city state and they become. Um, your expanded territory. You expand into the next territory. We met some. Fl we met uh, Florence. They have silver and gold, and Austria announced that they're protecting buildings. Shocking. Um, barbarian encampment. We were there. Uh, Florence. Florence. Blah blah blah. So one thing, um, sure, you want an embassy? I don't. I, I have no problem with that. What am I researching? In terms of uh, research? Oh, currency. Okay. I was like, what are we doing? I have no idea. Yay! Who didn't see that coming? I had totally forgotten that. That was up there, honestly, because I haven't played this in over a week. But now I have, and so I shall. Why did you come back? That's weird. Is that something to do with the fact that you're crazy? Religious switch base. Awesome. 
Where are you going, dude? What's happening here? Are you going to try to come... No, I want you to... If you can get up there, I want you to attack. Put a declaration from the Shoshone. Okay. See what's going on here. Thank you. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, Geneva. Interesting. Awarding... So I'm taking a large public works. Each... Cold gift for them. And, oh yeah, I think we might do that. Although we don't have a ton of gold, which is not great. So on the hill, fire. We're gonna take out these uh, these bar this barbarian encampment. What are you doing? You can't. I could. I don't want to gift warriors. Why would I want to gift warriors? What is? What am I? What am I mental? <laughs> Wait, who gives warriors? Come on now. <laughs> You can just stay there for a second. Since now I know that you can't move. Uh, yeah, I don't... For C have a problem with that. Maybe I do. I don't... I have... I don't know. Could be crazy. Could be rude. Yes, I know we're trespassing in there. Thank you. Hey! Stonehenge. Awesome. Let's get some more production cooking, huh, shall we? I can take out that. Yeah, take it. Take, start taking that out a little bit. Can my guys move now? Is that? Can I do that? Can they move? Still no. Okay. I'd hate to have to gift these these people away. Yeah, I know I'm trespassing. Believe me, it's not on purpose. Actually, you don't have to believe me because it's fact. So we're making a little bit more religion. I don't. I'm not, I don't remember. If we, we don't have a. We don't have a uh, pantheon started. So hey, guess what? We just popped a pantheon. What are we gonna do here? I say let's grow faster. What do you say? Absolutely. Paris is going to be huge, my friends. Not just a little huge. It's going to be freaking gigantically massive. Is the plan. Gigantically massive. Yes, that's what I said. Gigantically massive. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to take, it. Yeah, take those guys out. Gigantically massive. We met some weird place and Aust. If you, one thing I will say about playing with Austria, uh, I noticed in my Venice game when I played against Austria too. There's a reason they're protecting all these places because they can. Austria is very conniving, and uh, I didn't realize that until I played this last game against Venice, and then I forgot that Venice was part of here. Venice can marry and take over all of these city-states through their power called uh, something marriage, Austrian marriage or something, where <clears throat> they just marry into these city-states and they take them over. And um, it's more than a little unsettling, to be perfectly honest. It borders on, um, really, really scary, actually, guys. And so, <clears throat> I need to get, I'm hoping I can get to a, I'm hoping I can get to 5,000 gold so we can buy a settler, but I'm not holding my breath, honestly. Because if I did, I don't think I'd be alive very long. So we have got to get a worker and look at look at Pocatello, dude. He's gonna get two. 
I mean, we can win with this, don't get me wrong, because I can, I mean, once we get this place cooking, uh, Paris can be friggin' epically ginormous. Interesting. Am I gonna be able to get in there before they re they respawn another another unit? Never can tell. You never can tell. Didn't even didn't even see that we finished currency. Ooh, new policy. I can move up and take that. Yes, good spawning, brilliant. It's always helpful. When I can get people to stop stop spawning. Hey, just met another game of my own. First to meet, thirty gold win. <laughs> Gotta love that. Okay, so um, monarchy. Yes, absolutely. Mother Teresa's Mother Teresa's entered the classical area. Met those guys. Awesome. Now, right now, um, Paris is spinning very, very slowly. And there's a really good reason for that. It's because I have a lot of food production. And so that's what I'm really working on, is getting more food. Public decoration from the Shoshone protecting that place. Great. You know what? Because I can? Oh, man. Of course. I'm going to have to try to rush my guys back, back down here, so you get another, some more barbarians, always fun. I am most literate people. Shocking there that I'm the most literate. It's not. It's really not. Score-wise, I am second. Oh, that's not boding well, but we are five turns away from having the oracle. Which is awesome. Can my nope they can't. Dang. This turn they will be able to. These archers try something funny, they I will light them up like a Christmas tree. It's all my friends. Yeah, at some point we're going to need to go over, go back and get that. I do need another worker. Is that is that feasible? Yeah, worker wouldn't be feasible. Highly feasible, actually. Golden Age, awesome. move those guys out over here. You can build this. Oh, man. Nope. Dang. Got some hand axes coming this way. You know what? I think we might have... I think I might... Yeah, it's gonna have to be... Yeah. 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 Come here. Can you shoot them from there? No, of course not. Can't move again. So I'm gonna have to go into the city. I'm gonna have to buy some. I'm gonna have to buy a worker, maybe at least. Yeah, probably not right now. I'm gonna go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy this watermelon instead, just to shave a couple of turns off. Um, Q. Market. Definitely need the market going. Hang gardens. Might have to reprioritize some stuff. But, you know what? Because I really don't want to, have to because I don't want to lose the Hanging Gardens, I'm going to go ahead and put them next. It's kind of crazy, but that's kind of how I play, really. Oracle, awesome. Yeah, I'm getting pillaged in a hurry. 
and that will finish. Well, I don't. I don't know that we necessarily need that really. What does this do? Oh, it's gonna be this gonna be tricky. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the settings tree here real quick. Yeah, I'm getting pillaged. So I really wish I could... And it's just because I have so many barbarians around. They pillage me so I lose all my production and I lose my farm from this stuff. And my workers are going as fast as I can. But sometimes that's not quite fast enough. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know if I can... Well, we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna hope nobody else comes up while I'm while I'm going over here to see if there's another barbarian camp that I need to take out, because there probably is. Meanwhile, my production and my food is really not happening. Oh my gosh. Pocatello is going crazy, my friends. Pocatello is just coming for me in a hurry. Because, look. He's already got two... Three cities. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is getting not... This is getting not good in a hurry. Honestly, friend. Honestly, guys. But... I am equal to the task. I will, you know, this could be horrible. Horrible in so many ways, but I'm going to hope that it's not. I'm going to say this, that it's going to be that it's actually going to end up being really well. We just have to until we can get our money and stuff going, we're, we're just going to have to suck it up for a second. And that is going to be not tremendous for us right now. One thing we got to do is we got to get the stuff repaired so I can get start growing again. Cause if we if we go into this whenever we get back to the city Geneva Six Great Merchant, awesome. Guilds. Medieval era, awesome. Artist guilds, thank you. Great fire. Uh research. Let's see. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Well we got we definitely got some stuff we need to fill in. So, you know what, we're going to start doing that. I'm going to hit this, I'm going to hit this, I'm going to hit this. Then we're going to come back, we're going to pick up... Ugh, I hate that. Quit being dumb. Thanks. Theology. That's where we're going to head in a hurry, as fast as we can. Honestly. Temple of Artemis, it doesn't matter to me. I don't want it. Golden Agents, not surprising. We're just trying to ramp production back up as quickly as we can. Take out that. Next turn. Turn to Teresa is ended. That's okay. I'm 
Gotta bring stuff back online as quick as we can. As quick as we can. As quick as we can. Sweet. What happened here? Nothing left to explore. Probably. Yeah. Um, I'd like to say I'm surprised by that, but I'm not. In the least. I can't get up there. Okay, that's fine. So you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to come here. And I'm going to have to wait until I can sail my army back over here before I can get my guys back across because they've closed off that whole peninsula, which is shocking, but it's really not. Why did you do that? Turn 91. We have got to get some money going in a hurry. The faster we get money going, the better off we'll be. Honestly. Three turns from the hanging garden being done. Awesome. Yeah, you can hang there for a second, my friends. Pocatillo Embassy, sure, why not? That's as much vision as we can get. That's fine. So you can sit there until whenever. I cleared forest. What? What forest did I clear? Green gardens, awesome. Now, bring you back the city and let you camp in there. About two turns from another culture thing. Horseback riding is done. Oh, bloody. Yeah, this might get uncomfortable in a hurry, folks. Absolutely might get really uncomfortable in a hurry. need to sort of rush some of that sailing stuff. What are you... What are you doing? I don't understand what's going on why my guys keep waking up. Great lighthouse. Yeah, that was to be expected. Could have used that, but... What are you going to do? New policy? Um... Hmm... Yeah, I think that's going to be helpful to us in the long run, honestly. I almost have enough gold so I can rush by a worker again. But I'm not expanding tremendously fast, and the reason for that is because... Because honestly, I got crushed by that. Those barbarians just crushed my stuff. And I'm getting my production back online, but production's one thing, I need, but I need to grow to be able to gather more steam and gather more um, territory. That's just not happening fast enough at this point. Oh, 
awesome. I'm going to go ahead and stick a couple more turns in here. I just want to get a little further along in some stuff. The granary is almost done, so that's going to help out a lot. I need to get over here and get these pins rebuilt at least. Masonry, awesome. Mausoleum of Halicarnassus is done. Pocatillo is going to become a thorn in my butt real quick. And if Austria choose to declare, I might just have to try to go along with um, Austria to try to Take Pocadello down a couple pegs. But if you want, if you want um, horses, buddy, I know exactly who you should, who you should come talk to. Okay, so we finished all that. So now. Honestly, we're going to be do some more bold stuff, of course, because that's what I do. Got horses to burn. So I'm going to start building. Yeah, that's the way I roll. Because I'm just crazy enough to do that. Scientist, that's going to help out. That's going to be huge for us, guys. Let's get that scientist pop. Oof. That's going to be huge. And you know what we're going to do? I'm going to come right out here. And we're not going to build. We're not going to pop attack. No, no, no. We're not going to pop attack. What we're going to do is we're going to build a science academy to help us catch up. To help us generate even more science per turn. Bam. Now joining extra eight beakers per turn. Awesome. And my player lost his capital. Really? What indeed is drama, my friends? That is the question that we should be asking. What is drama? Petra! Kind of... Eh, could be worse. Great profit! Bam! Alright. Uh, unit needs order. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, found a religion, dude. Let's not be crazy. Protestantism. Uh, what do we want here? Um... Hmm. Gain science when a missionary or prophet spreads a rhythm to city with other religions. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Take a swing with that. Shrines preside one happiness with three followers. Like that a lot. Honestly. Love it, honestly. Yes. Protestantism in the house, my friends. Merchants, Florence, uh, great, right yeah, cool, awesome, sweet. Hey, and we take the lead. Shockingly, I just want to squeeze another turn in here. We'll probably, eat, we're going to end it here probably about 115. Rough of, which is roughly going to be around, shockingly, um, around, um, the birth of Christ, but we've already discovered prominent um, Protestantism, so winner, winner, spaghetti dinner. Hey, 1 AD, what'd I tell ya? 
Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. We're expanding, starting to really gain some steam and gain some ground. If you remember when we started, we this was pretty pretty, pretty limited. And then we started to respect, expand out. I can come in here, put some mines in here the next turn. Maybe even put some uh, markets, some trading posts. We're definitely going to get some trade routes going in the next game, hopefully. And I want to make sure I have everything queued up so I don't potentially forget anything, which of course I will. We're going to go ahead and jump on the Parthenon. Jeez. A lot of stuff to do coming up, folks. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Happiness. We might can lower the priority on that. So we'll add something else to the queue. National Epic helps with great person generation. Always a good thing. Anyway, guys. The thing still stands, if you if you think that there's something, else, another way I'm doing this, I'm going to go for the culture, tourism, uh, victory. We haven't started generating either of anything yet, but we are growing. We went from, a, I think we were a five, five or a six when we started this, and then we're a nine. Four turns from being a ten. Uh, let me know what you think. If you want, if you, th I think I should build some mental units, but whether I'll remember that over the course of the next week or so, is anybody's guess. So if you think I should, or if you got any suggestions, let me know. I want to try to make this an interactive experience where um, we can have this game be successful today. I will tell you that we're, uh, by virtue of picking up some of that stuff we got late, the, the Protestantism and stuff, um, we were we were at 3, uh, Pocatello was at 310, and we were like in the 270s. And due to all that, we are now 30 points up on Pocatello in first. So, yeah, I'm playing playing to win, Jack, is the way I can best, best put this. But, hey, uh, I've been Ace Coutine. Thanks for watching. As always, stay legit, and I'll see you next time.